Not. 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 Hi. So we're going to be setting up the nut button prefab here really quick. Uh, after you've imported the package, you'll just want to go down to Wolfie underscore 527 here. So double click on this and you should see nut button here. Double click on this and we're going to grab the nut button prefab. We'll just drag and drop this onto the base of our avatar here in the hierarchy. We'll right click on nut button because it should be blue right here. So we'll right click this and we'll do unpack prefab completely. We'll alt click the nut button drop down here so it'll drop down everything. We're going to turn on the nut button just so we can see it for now, but we're going to turn this back off later. So we're going to grab the nut button holster and we're going to place this on our hips or wherever you want to place this if you don't want to place it on your hip. Maybe you want this on your right thigh so you can drop this onto uh, maybe your right leg somewhere depending on wherever your hierarchy has this. Next we're going to drop down spine and we're going to go down to right shoulder. If you're left handed you'll go to left shoulder and you're going to just drop nut button hand onto your hand or wrist bone here so that it properly places on your hip bone or hand bone depending on where you're placing this so for me since i have my nut button on my hip here you'll want to move around the nut button holster to give it its proper location of wherever you want it to be as well as its rotation so you can rotate it here as well when you want to change the hand location, we're just going to come down to nut button container. We'll change nut button holster transform to zero and we'll change nut button hand transform to one. That'll move the nut button to your hand location and then you can move the nut button hand around how you want it to look. I suggest having this just a little bit off of your hand since your fingers can interact with the receiver in here. So I have mine a little bit off of my hand. Uh, but it still looks fine whenever I'm actually grabbing, doing the grabbing animation and game itself. Once you've set this up, you'll come back down to button the nut button container. You'll change the nut button hand back to zero, nut button holster back to one. Then we're going to turn the nut button off and we can close this down and we can close down our right shoulder and our armature. Now what we're going to do is if you've grabbed Avatar Managers 3.0. You'll head up to VR Labs here, click Avatars 3.0 Manager. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop our avatar into the top here, and it'll bring everything up here. You want to open up your FX, and we're just going to scroll down and we're going to click Add Animated Emerge. And what you're going to do is in the Nut Button folder here, you'll see controllers, and there's going to be four here. We have a left hand nut button controller, there's a right hand nut button controller, and then there's quest versions. The quest versions just use peace sign to drop the, the nut button and the world uh, and on your holster. And the left and right hand normal ones just use open hand to do that. And then you use fist to grab them. I'm going to use the right hand nut button controller here. Uh, you're going to see errors here, just ignore these. They're not really errors, they're just letting you know that if you don't know what you're doing, you shouldn't be messing with these. Um, but we know what we're doing, so we're fine. And we're just going to merge onto current. And once you have that there, we'll just want to make sure that our net toggle, net grabbed, and net holstered are all checked here. Because we want these to be synced. And then we're going to head over here and we're going to double check that these are also in our actual expressions uh, list, parameters list here. And we'll make sure that these are saved as well. You'll want to make sure that these three right here are checked. The toggle, grabbed, and holstered. Then we'll head to this last tab here. And if you see you have mixed right defaults in your layers, you may experience weird interactions in game. What you need to do is you want to head to your avatar and just check your some of your layers here. And look at the states and see if right defaults is on or off. If you go through a few of these and you see that right defaults are off or if you see that right defaults are on, what you're going to want to do is match this to whatever you see on the majority of your avatar. By default, the nut button has right defaults on. So if you use right defaults off, you're going to come over here and you're going to set right defaults off. 
Once you do that, everything's fixed and it should work fine. If you use right defaults on and you're still seeing this somewhere or up here, then somewhere in your, your animator, uh, some right defaults are turned off on accident. And my prefabs typically break if you have mixed right defaults. So you'll want to just set right defaults on so that everything's on for you or set right defaults off. And that should fix everything for you. Now, the last thing that you're going to want to do is we'll head over to our expressions. And depending on where you want to place it in your uh, menu here, you can just come in and click add control. And then we'll put nut button. And we're going to change the type here to toggle. And then we're going to want to grab our parameter for the nut button right here. Nut button, nut toggle. And this will let us toggle on the nut button in game. And that is how you set up the nut button prefab. If you have any questions or concerns, just message me on Discord or shoot me a message on Booth or Gumroad. Thanks.